That's 0.1 kilogram, right? So it was one, two, three. The velocity was one centimeter per second, so that's 0.01 squared. That's equal to one half times its mass times V final squared plus change in potential energy, which is U final minus U initial times 10 to the negative 9. So it loses a little amount of potential energy and thereby gains kinetic energy. So if you go, if you take this over to the other side and so for V final, what does it come out? So let's try this. 0.5 times 0.1 times 0.01 squared. This is 5 times 10 to the minus 6. And then you take the difference here, put it over here, plus 12.744 minus 6.372 times 10 to the power negative 9, okay, times 2 divided by 0.1 square root. V final comes out to be 0 0.01006 37 meters per second. So in centimeters per second, that is uh, 1 to 1 1.000637 centimeters per second. So what has happened? The dielectric naturally wanted to come by itself. It lost potential energy. The system lost potential energy. So in a sense, the capacitor sucked it in with a certain force. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to gain kinetic energy. Now, when it goes through, it's going to want to suck it back inside, so it's going to go through, and by the time it ends over here, it's going to have a final velocity equal to itself. It's going to slow down. So it's going to be one centimeter per second moving that way, okay? You could even do kind of a concept problem. Start the capacitor in the middle, and then uh, the dielectric in the middle, displace it, and then it should go back and forth, oscillate, okay? So it should oscillate back and forth with a certain frequency. So that would be a pretty good problem. OK, what would happen if this? If I didn't disconnect the battery? Let's say I have my original situation. The battery is connected. But now I try to put in the dielectric. What happens now? Well, how do we answer the problem? So. This time, the capacitance still goes up by a factor of two. Okay, we can call it C double prime, two C. Okay, so it goes up by a factor of two, but the voltage stays the same. V double prime is uh, twelve volts. Okay, so the voltage doubles. Uh, sorry, the voltage stays the same, but the capacitance doubles. What happens to the charge? Well, Q is equal to CD, so Q double prime is C double prime times V double prime. And then this is equal to 2C times 12. So it's equal to, basically, the capacitance has doubled, but the voltage has stayed the same. So the charge is twice the original charge, right? And what was the original charge? It was the, well, actually. Uh, right now, I don't have it in front of me, but whatever was our original charge, the charge is twice that. So it's going to be 2 times Q, let's say. Okay? So what has happened? Here is what's going on here. When the dielectric goes in, it tends to make the voltage less. It tends to make drop the voltage. But since this time the capacitor is connected to the battery, the battery says, don't worry. I'll supply you with more charge. So it sends charge along the way. And more charge comes, more charge comes. It supplies it with more charge. Therefore, it maintains the same voltage, right? So it's kind of like, uh, imagine the battery is like a general. And it's being attacked by another army. 
so it sends more forces to help out, right? So it, it gives it more charge and the charge doubles. And thereby it maintains the same voltage. So what happens to the energy now? U double prime is half C double prime, B double prime squared. The voltage has stayed the same. The capacitance has doubled, the, so the energy doubles. So it's basically 2 times 12.744, which is 25.488 nanojoules. So now let me ask this. If the dielectric goes in there, am I going to have to push it, or is it going to go by itself? The potential energy of the system is increasing, right? So the capacitor is going to fight against that. The battery doesn't want someone attacking it, okay? So I'm going to have to do a certain amount of work if I want it to go there at a constant velocity, right? So the problem can ask, uh, how much work does an external agent, how much work does an external agent have to do in order to keep it going at a constant velocity? So the work is equal to U double prime minus U. What was the total energy after I put it in minus the energy they had when there was just vacuum there? So the work is equal to 25.488 minus 12.744, which is, since this is double that, it's just equal to 12.744 nanojoules. So I'm going to have to do 12.744 nanojoules of work to keep it going at constant velocity. What if I don't do that work? What's going to happen as it's going? It's going to slow down, right? It's going to slow down, and then on the way out, it's going to speed out. So basically, it's going to push it out. So slow down, speed up. So basically, it loses, uh, it's uh, gaining potential energy, it's losing potential energy, the mechanical equivalent of a ball going uphill and then going back downhill, okay? So how much, what will the velocity be? If I don't do this work, what will the velocity of the dielectric in the inside be? So it'll be something like this: half times 0.1 times 0.01 squared equals to half times 0.1 times v final squared plus the potential energy final 25.488 minus the potential energy initial 12.744. This time, when this comes over here, it ends up being a negative. So you lose, uh, you're gaining uh, potential energy, but you're losing kinetic energy. So we're going to have 0.5 times 0.1 times 0.01 squared, okay, uh, plus 12.744 minus 25.488. <coughs> Let's see, 5 times 10 to the power of negative 6 um, minus 12.744 ti uh, times 10 to the power of negative 9 times 2 divided by 0.1 square root. So now I'm going to get the final is equal to. 0 0.009987 meters per second, and that's equal to 0 0.9987 centimeters per second. So you can see that the dielectric has slowed down. On the way there, it slows down, and then it's going to speed back up. So you can see here an example of putting a dielectric in uh, with the battery connected versus the battery disconnected, and you can see the difference of what's happening here, and try to understand that from a, a detailed physical perspective. Okay, so this is a pretty good example with uh, dielectrics and capacitors. Thank you.